Okay, John versus Kirsty. It's the semi-final. We both played fantastically in your rounds. John, if I said you can have £3,000 at the end of the show, what are you going to spend it on? Um, probably a holiday. But a holiday? Where would you go, mate? Maybe the Canaries or somewhere Canaries, like that. Canaries, somewhere, somewhere nice and warm. Get a bit of sunshine. Yeah. All right, John. Well, listen, you're up against Kirsty. Kirsty wants three grand as well. Kirsty, what would you spend the money on? Oh, first credit card bill. Then probably <laughs> another holiday. And then another holiday. Yeah. In that order? Think so, you say yeah. that now, Kirsty John. <laughs> Good luck to both of you. It is the semi final, right? We start you both on zero points. This round is called Word Storm, all right? I'm going to tell you how many letters are in a word, tell you the first letter, I'm going to tell you the last letter. You need to tell me a word and spell it for me. Ready to play? All right. Good luck to both of you. Here is their first <coughs> Word Storm. Five letters. S is the first, L is the last. <clears throat> Kirsty. School. Spell it for me. S Q U A L. No, S-Q-U-A-L. Let's put it into the computer. It's not no. quite accepted. Oh, uh, no, it's not been accepted. I apologise for that, Kirsty. We'll pass it over to John. Swale, S-W-A-I-L. OK, let's see if Swale's accepted. It's always worth putting a word in there just to see. That's not accepted either. Oh, well. Skill. Skill would have gone in there, but nothing to worry about. The first one's out of the way. Let's have a look at the next one. Five letters. N is the first. The last is an R. <clears throat> Any ideas? No? OK, let me tell you a word. Never, never would have gone in there. Another one worth ten points. It's a high-scoring round. Let's have a look at the next one. Six letters. D is the first. D is the last letter. Kirsty. Dipped. D-I-P-P-E-D. Dipped. Goes into the computer. You've got your first ten points of the round. Well done, Kirsty. Seven letters. C is the first. N is the last. John. Caution. C-A-U-T-I-O-N. Caution. Yeah, ten points. Well played, John. Neck and neck. Ten points apiece. Five letters. O is the first. R is the last. <coughs> Kirsty. Order. O-R-D-E-R. -E Order. Another ten points. Ten in the lead at the moment. It's just one question between you, though. Seven letters. E is the first. E is the last. Any ideas? I'm just tapping away. No, I guess you didn't mean to press that. No. No, fair enough. Examine is what we were looking for. OK, that would have gone in there. It would have been worth ten points. OK, seven letters. C is the first. Y is the last. Any ideas? No, country. Country would have gone in there. Another ten-point answer that you could have had. OK, it's time to look at those scores. John's got ten points. Uh, Kirsty's in the lead with twenty. OK, still another round to go. We'll find out how they get on very soon. But first round. In the meantime, two have to become one. Only one's going to be playing for £3,000, but which one? Let's play Brain Teaser. OK, John and Kirsty. Now, this round works like this. It's called Clued Up. Called so because we give you a subject. What's going to follow, it's four clues, one at a time. You can buzz in at any point during this round, tell me the answer. But if you give me the wrong answer, we pass it over to your opponent and they get a bit more breathing space and get to see the remaining clues. Buzz ready to play? Let's see how they do with the first subject on today's Clued Up. OK, we're looking for a film about Christmas. It's an animated film. Tom Hanks and Train. <laughs> no idea <laughs> at all. Uh, the Polar Express, which gets released tomorrow. OK, have a look at the next subject. It's a city we're looking for. A uh, capital city. Uh, Trinity College. Kirsty. Is it Dublin? It is Dublin. Well buzzed in. Uh, you get the ten points. Well done, Kirsty. Have a look at the next one. It's a scientist. British. 1642 to 1727. Calculus and gravity. That might help you, John. Newton. Yep, so Isaac Newton will give you the ten points. Well played, John. <clears throat> it's a personality we're looking for. It's a presenter from Birmingham. Hosted the Brit Awards. John. Davina McCall. It's not Davina McCall. Hosts also CD UK. Any ideas, Kirsty? Cat Dini. Cat Dini is who we were looking for. Kirsty gets the points. Have a look at the next one. You're not far behind at the moment, John. It's a landmark. Britain. 73 miles. Roman. And border, Kirsty. Is it um, Hastings? Oh, it's not. I'm going to pass it over to John. Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall is what we were looking for. Unlucky, Kirsty. I think it was that what you were trying to think of as well. Have a look at this one. You're still in the leap, but it's just one question in there. It's an author born in 1958, an Irish author, Paddy Clark, and finally the Booker Prize. Kirsty. Is it Frank McCourt? It's not. I'm going to pass it back to John. 
Don't know. No idea at all. Okay, Roddy Doyle is who we were looking for that time. Okay, take a look at the next subject. It's character from Blackadder. Had a cunning plan, John. Baldrick. Baldrick is right, yep. Yeah. Uh, Turnips and Tony Robinson. It's neck and neck right now. <laughs> it's a book. 1818. Gothic horror. Mary Shelley, Kirsty. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is the right answer. A monster would have been that final clue. Okay, it's a character this time. Cartoon. Pipe. John. Popeye. Popeye is right, yes. Sailor and olive oil would have been the final clues. It's an actor, American, from Star Wars, Callista Flockhart, and Indiana Jones. John. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford is right. And that is the end of the round. Let's take a look at those scores. Kirsty, 50 points. John's in the final today with 60 points. Oh, how close was that, Kirsty? You were fantastic, Tessa. Oh, what a close Thank round you. that really was. Kirsty, have a lovely time in Spain. Thank Enjoy you very Christmas much. as well. It was a real pleasure to meet you. John, well done. You're in the Thanks. final of today's show, playing for three thousand pounds. We'll find out how he gets on soon enough. Okay, John. How you doing, mate? Good. You've done very, very well. Thanks. You've stormed through a lot of rounds. Playing for three grand here, mate. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. I'm sure you know already. But, and if you want to play along at home, then have a look at this puzzle. Okay. We'll start you off with 45 seconds, John, and I'll give you the first three letters that are going to go in there. I'll give you £100 to get you started as well. What we're going to do is, when we start the clock, a letter's going to form in the line below. You need to use all those letters, drop them down around the new letter to come up with the word I'm looking for. There might be more than one word you can think of, John. If so, shout all those words at me. It's only the word on my cards that will stop the clock and get you the money. You ready to do it, mate? I'm ready to do it. All right, John, good luck as we give him the first of the three letters. Here we go. There they are, ARG, A-R-C. Ready to play? John, good luck. We're going for two hundred pounds. Start the clock. D. Card. Stop the clock. Well done, John. Very quick. You've got two hundred pounds. You barely used up a couple of seconds there. Good to go for five hundred. Why not? Okay, for five hundred pounds, start the clock. E. Uh, arced. Not right. Keep going. Uh, Creed. No, keep going, mate. <clears throat> Cared. No. Raced. Stop the clock. Well done, John. You found every combination I think you could possibly find, John, except the one we wanted. But you got there in the end. You've earned yourself £500. You've still got 27 seconds left. You can go for 750 if you think you can do it in 27 seconds. Like I say, you're very quick up till now. It's completely up to you, John. I think I'll stick at that, thanks. You're going to stick at that? I think so. You're going to go home with a 500? Yeah, why not? All right, final decision? Yeah. In that case, John, well done, mate. £500. So, John gets himself 500 on that final pyramid. He did have 27 seconds left, but maybe a wise choice. But let's go back to the puzzle and let's see how he would have done. Had we given him the next letter, and of course, if you're playing along at home, the next letter I would have given you would have been the letter S. Now, the S would have gone at the beginning of that word with raced, plus the letter S. John, I'm going to ask you, just on the off chance. Sacred? Oh, it is sacred. Yeah. But oh, the 500 well. is safe, though. That's the yeah, main thing. That's okay, right, so my got a sacred. The next letter down, I would always give you one more letter in these puzzles, as you well know. So the next letter would have been the letter R. Now, when sacred drops down, we add the letter R. There's going to be two R's in that new word. John, I don't really want to ask you, but I'm scared you're going to get it right. I'm not looking now. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Let me reveal the word for you. <laughs> Scarred is the word that we were looking for. I'm glad John's not looking. And the last line down for three thousand pounds would have been the letter U. Now, Scarred, now there's two R's in that letter, in that line above. Uh, when we add them to the letter U, what word could you come up with? Well, if you're playing for three thousand pounds, the word I was looking for would have been Crusader. Crusader. The good news is, though, John goes back with five hundred pounds. John, you're absolutely brilliant. Have a lovely Christmas, mate. Thank you very much. Well done. It's